Look at this face. Look at this face. <laughs> I love my me, man. Like, some areas about it, I'm like, eh, it's whatever. But look at that chin. <laughs> like, half of this entire head is just the chin. It's a pretty good me if I do, if I do say so myself. Well, good morning, good night, or good afternoon, viewers, depending on your time zone. And this is Philbo YouTube. Welcome, every. Hey, wait a minute. My opening music wasn't playing. Hold on, play that back. Wait a minute. Now, well, good morning, good night, or good afternoon, viewers, depending on your time zone. And this is Philbo YouTube. Welcome, everybody. So, welcome, everybody. <laughs> welcome, everybody. So, welcome, everybody. That's some good words right there, Philbo. We're going to be doing some Splatoon 2 viewer battles. So hop on, add my friend code, and we're in, and load up some Splatoon. It's going to be a fun time. If you guys don't know what Splatoon is, it's a delightful game that you should probably own. Um, and so I personally recommend that... Uh, finally a fellow stream I will watch. Welcome back, Taylo. Yeah, people trying to avoid uh, Mario Odyssey spoilers. Welcome back. Uh, if you guys want to check out... The, um, if you want to, to add me so you can play, check out the description, and then you can do that, and you can just add me, and I'll be adding people for a little bit more, and then we're going to go in, we're going to see who can play, and we're going to have a fun time. Hope you guys are ready. We're going to add these three people, we're going to add these three people, and we're going to do a game. We're just going to get a game going. We, you know, we're gonna add more people. Don't worry. If you miss it one time, you're not gonna get it. You know, you're not gonna be missed out forever. I'm gonna add you no matter what. But still, for now, we're just. We'll, hey, we got purple rallet finally. Welcome to the. Uh, welcome to the. Uh, to the friend group here. All right. Sorry for to those four people. For right now, though. Whoops. 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 We're gonna be doing a little bit of Splatoon too. Oh my God, Renamu! You're beautiful. Thank you so much for the five dollar donation. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I'm sorry I can't play with y'all. I didn't bring my Switch to work. If there, are, uh, if there are a chance on my days off, I'll join you one day, Friday or Saturday. Rina Mew, you don't have to donate for every message. <laughs> you don't have to donate for every message. I appreciate it, but you really don't have to. <coughs> also, anytime, Rina Mew, anytime. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Also, before we actually do any viewer battles, I do want to quickly... Um, show off this new weapon that came out just because it looks so cool and I want to be good at it I want to be good at it. I know XP. It's okay. <laughs> a new stage is bad. <gasps> Black Belly Skate Park Ooh, I played on there competitively and a gold dynamo roller. I played on there. I use this not competitively so fun fact while I was in Montreal I actually went to a competitive Splatoon 2 tournament um, and I did, um, I did some game, I did some, like, pretty much pickup games. I got some other people, uh, who, who, like, I was pretty much recruited onto a team real fast. Um, and we played some Splatoon. And I actually have some, uh, some quick video sa videos I saved. Uh, like, like, some replays saved from those matches where I did pretty good. Um, so yeah, we had some pretty good games. We had some pretty good games. Uh, we won a couple games. We did. We definitely did not win them all. I wish we had won, it all, won them all, but unfortunately we didn't. Um, but we got. Oh, I, that's right. I forgot we're on the fail fleet account. I can't show you the new weapon. That's okay. That's okay. In the meantime, let me at least start up something for you to something for you guys to look at here. Um, please ink spawn this fat Judd. Pretty good. Pretty, that's a pretty bad squid. Let's go, boys. So if you guys don't know how this works, basically. I'm one of those uh, video game esports commentators for for Smash Brothers, and I do it pretty well for Splatoon. I I like to think. So we're gonna give it a shot, and I'm gonna commentate your match. So I hope you enjoy this private battle. Create a room. Join a room. Join my game, everybody. <clears throat> the one rule. The one rule. And I need you guys to listen up for a second. The one rule is if you guys join this game, you cannot join again. I don't. I don't want people to keep on joining and taking up room for other people basically we got a lot of people in chat we got a lot of people in chat as you can see by how many people just immediately joined i don't want duplicate people 
only because I just want to make sure as many people as possible can get in. So this goes for Corey, Q, Abel, Kitty, Zeno, Richard, and Elena, uh, Meow number five, and Purple Rowlet. It's perfectly fine to have been in other streams, but for today, this is the only game you can be in. I just want to let you guys know that, okay? Awesome. Here we go, boys. So, what game are we going to play? I want to play on the new map, personally. I won't be playing, I'll be commentating, but we're going to be going to the Black Belly Skate Park. I'm excited, man. So as usual, it'll be the first, you know, me, it'll be Fail Fleet and the last person to join going spectator. So that'll be you, Purple Rowlet. Let's go, boys. Going into it. Black Belly Skate Park. Pick your weapons, pick your gear, and let's get into it, man. So Black Belly Skate Park. Brand new map. Can't this be on less than less than a month, boy? Oh, before you get a switch, Taylor. I'm I'm guessing. I'm guessing. I don't know. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Oh my gosh, the boop boop boops never end. The boop boop boops never end. It's amazing. Commentating. It's gonna be a fun time. Oof. Oh my god, ready up, people, please. I understand the need to boop. I understand it, but we ain't doing any real competitive stuff here, <clears throat> given how the teams are scrambling. But I will ask the chat, chat, we're going to, before, okay, before we get into this game in full, I want to try and do a point system today. Now this is on the honesty, this is on the honesty factor. <gasps> oh my god, they have the wacky whirly things. Look at the arms, they have the wacky wavy things. Oh my god, it's so cool. So before I get into commentating this though. We're gonna do a point game today. This game is on points. Now, the chat are the people competing. Right now, chat, guess what color is going to win? Green or blue? Guess it in chat, all right? Guess it in chat. Now, if your team wins, you get one point, all right? If your team wins, you get one point. Now, if your team loses, you don't get any points. So, the goal is to see how many points you can get at the very end of the stream. Now, of course, I have no way to measure this and I'm not gonna be giving out any rewards for it. So it is purely on purely on honesty. Guess it now. And it's, it's just to, to spark a little bit of competition. So, uh, chat, let's, uh, let's go into, what, what, what? What is this view? Whoa, 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 whoa! Why did my chat do that? What, what was that? It pulled up a completely different view than normal. Sorry about that. Anyway, going into it, let me actually commentate this game a little bit. So right now, blue, looking pretty good. Um, we're in the start of the game. You know, like, that, nothing too crazy is going to come about this right now. But you got to admit, they, they, they are off to a really, really strong start. Green is having a hard time pushing in. They, uh, they, they definitely need to get control of those points right now. And actually, Richard doing a good job securing one of the points, putting a little bit of pressure on the other one, securing this one. And actually, Richard paving the way for Green to take control of the points. Also going to be sending in those Tentatech Missiles. Going to be doing a good job with those two. Meanwhile, we got Kitty going in with the Golden Dynamo Roller. Look at this thing in action. Kitty, I'm going to showcase your weapon for a little bit. Because I, I wasn't able to showcase it myself. Look at this beautiful roller. It's so nice looking. Well, I mean, he just got uh, killed by Q. But, like, that is a golden, beautiful roller. It looks like a sight. And it appeals to me aesthetically i love it man i love it but q in there with a carbon roller gonna be doing a lot of damage a lot of fast meanwhile we got um who is that that was xeno xeno coming off the top that's right dude xeno was the scourge of the last stream him and his clash blaster are really good and he is definitely the pick for this game and right now though oh my god i just looked at the score look at that score man that score is looking really close this is Blue's chance to actually take back the point a little bit. And right now, we got Meow number five with the sniping. This is looking like really solid area control from Blue, and they have now taken the lead. Very strong plays. Green gonna have a hard time pushing in with only two people. Oh no, and Kitty gonna take the fall there too. So here's the issue with the golden, uh, with the gold carbon roll, or with the gold, uh, oh, not a mega roller, dynamo roll, with the gold dynamo roller. It's a very slow firing weapon, meaning Kitty will not be able to push very well. 
she will be able to, to defend very well. However, when it comes down to actually pushing, there are plenty of weapons that will get the job done much faster, as we can see right here from Q's Carbon Roller. But now, it's just a matter of repeat, you know, rinse and repeat here for Blue. Keep killing the approaching team, and uh, see if uh, and see if Green can actually make any plays. Right now, Corion trying to make any, any kind of plays they can. For a second, Green did lose control. This is Corey's chance. Although, no, they roll right into Q's roller. Blue with such solid area control. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. All of a sudden, Kitty coming from behind with the golden roller. Gonna be getting one kill. Gonna be getting two kills. Gonna be getting three kills, but that wasn't enough. Kitty came in there. Kitty wasn't a cat. Kitty was a lion. Oh, my gosh. Roaring over the other team, however. Even though she roared and tore up the other team in full, she was not able to take the game. Blue taking that decisively. Wow! Q and Xeno are MVPs with those like 15 or something kills. Great job to Purple Team. Everyone say in chat what points you got. It's, it's, right now it's either a 1 or a 0. It's either a 1 or a 0. Um, now, let's do... A random tower control, no, a random tower control map, that's correct. Bam. One or zero right now. Be honest, be honest, be honest. It's okay, look, uh, it, it, it literally doesn't matter. The points literally, you have no reason to lie. Anyway, meow number five. You're gonna be the next spectator, just because I'm going up the list. Let's, looks good. Let's see. Our teams are Corey, Abel, Zeno, and Elena, and Q, Kitty, Richard, and Purple Rowlet. Let's go, boys. What's your friend code? It's in the description. Boop, 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 boop. We're going to do tower control on the reef. Let's do it, boys. Could we join every 10 rounds? No, you're going to join every three rounds. All right. <clears throat> you're not going to bet this time since you're playing? You're, feel free to. Feel free to, Rally. All right, boys. Say in chat what team you're going to go for. We got team... Sorry, I should probably give you the colors first. We got green versus pink. Green versus pink. Say in chat what one you got. What one you're putting your money on. Your theoretical money on. Dude, I'm just saying, man. Oh, this is actually a really well spread out team. So personally, I'm looking at... My picks for this game are Xeno. Xeno with that amazing Clash Blaster. And Richard with that amazing Bucket. I've seen those two do a lot of work. And it's just... Oh, it's Abel. I forget if Abel was the person we saw last time rocking the, um, the Splushomatic. But she did, uh, someone with a splooch mag did an amazing job flanking in their games. And I gotta say, I'm interested to see if we see it from her. But that being said, man, Kitty immediately getting a kill with that golden dynamo. And maybe uh, uh, getting another kill, but Abel is gonna get the kill instead. Looking pretty good for either team right now. Although I will admit, Pink did just get wiped completely. That's a good opportunity for Green to go in there, man. Anytime a wipe happens, that's the golden opportunity. And right now, Q trying to get in there, but no! Wait a minute, wait a minute! I thought they were about to be walled up by specials, but no, great evasion by them, getting out of the way. But however, Xeno does pick them off. And right now, it's free reign for Green to just get in there. Oh no! Kitty coming from behind! Oh my gosh! The hidden golden dynamo roller, taking out two of Green! Kitty doing an amazing job turning that from a 1v4 to a 1v2 in a second. Putting a little bit of extra time for their team, too. But right now, we got Corey with that Rapid Blaster on the point here. Gonna be looking pretty good. Gonna be looking pretty good. And unfortunately, Kitty goes down up top now. And now it's a free reign for green. It's free reign for green. All they gotta do... Look how much map control green has right now. It's looking ridiculous. But right now, let's cut to Richard's point of view for a second. Richard is hiding in the wake here. Ready to shovel on as much ink as he can onto that point. He does a good job doing it. Green with only two people left remaining. Corey still living somehow, trying to survive as best they can. One goes down from pink. There's a chance here. Corey actually living that entire onslaught. Now uh, with an opportunity to take back this point a little bit. But who's going to let him? Who's going to let him? It seems the rest of the team is going to let him. As uh, Pink has mostly been taken out here, other than Kitty, the lone survivor, sitting and just sitting, waiting for Green to make an unsafe push. But all of a sudden, the splashdown comes out, and Kitty will go down to, uh, I believe that's Abel. Yeah, Abel's splushomatic. Dude, here comes Abel, man. Oh my gosh, Abel's going wild, man. Abel with the splushomatic is actually crazy. Abel just goes in and goes wild. That's the beauty of the splushomatic. 
because of that splashdown, because of that weapon style in general, and because of those curler bombs, she's able to just throw the bomb, go in, shoot, and go back out. An amazing rushdown kind of a weapon. But here come we have Kitty. You know, Kitty's right now trying to play as good defensively as they can. Gonna get taken out by Abel, who immediately takes him out and goes right back to the tower. Right now it's on Q, our brush user of, of Pink. Gonna be able to take out Abel. Waiting in the wing for a second here. Gonna take out Annalena. Has a good shot here. Oh, it almost dodges that bomb. Just unable to. But now it's in, it's in uh, green, green control right here. We're looking at Xeno right now. Our Clash Blaster of the game. And right now, if you look at those scores, Green definitely has the advantage and really has had it all game. In fact, right now, it seems really Pink hasn't been able to do anything this game. That's not to say they won't be able to do it forever, but right now, with Xeno watching above like a hawk, he's just going to get anyone who lands on that point. Good job from Richard just rolling off the point as soon as they can, but rolling right into fire. Unfortunate for them. And right now, it's looking very strong still for Green. Not to say that this is an impossible comeback. Green still has to get through one more checkpoint if they want to get that full KO. But right now, it's looking very strong for Green, I will admit. Their weapon class is looking very... Their weapon loadouts are just looking very good. Although, it looks like Richard did get on the point for a second there, only to be taken out by Zeno in, uh, I believe that was Corey's combination work there. But, um... Is this Corey? No, that's Analena right there. Uh, and, and... Oh, no! It looks like Q, uh, the QR brush user was able to take out the, uh... Was able to take out a little bit of competition there. Can Richard get in there? Richard can get in, although he does die immediately. So I suppose that means he couldn't get in. Unfortunate for him. But right now, it's looking really good for Green. I'm not seeing the way for Pink to get back in there. They haven't proven themselves yet. They would have to get through two checkpoints of so much Green Onslaught. And see, this is the, the reason why we're seeing so much Green Dominance right now. It's because of these blasters, man. These blasters, if you look at Purple's Pink's team comp, they don't really have anything that can deal with a blaster. The brush is not able to deal with a blaster. The roller is not able to deal with a blaster. The bucket, maybe. The dualies, if they get close. But the blasters can just keep up the pressure. Look at Xeno go! And I gotta admit, I, even though I haven't given them much credit, we also have that rapid blaster up there, too, doing a lot of work. Gonna solidly secure that win for green. That was a great play. Great play from Green. Cleaning up the competition. All right, boys. <laughs> Garol, your win does not count. You have to call the you have to call the uh the the victor before the game starts. You have to call the victor before the game starts or once I announce the colors. All right? So some people got 2 points, some people got 1, some people got 0. Sounds pretty good. All right, boys. And for the last thing we're going to be doing, Rainmaker on humpback pump track. You guys knew it was coming. You guys knew it was coming. Let's go into it. Rainmaker humpback pump track. My favorite mode. Oh, I almost readied up without me out. And Annalena is going to be sitting out as our third last person. Let's do it, boys. Let's do it. And by the way, after this game, we're going to get in a new group of people. New group of people after this game. This is the fun times, man. This is the fun times. For the people looking to join, your your opportunity will be after this game. Boop, 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 boop. Also, for the rest of the stream, I'm going to only do two matches instead of three. Just because we're, we're getting a little bit too long and we're I forgot I only have an hour to fill instead of uh like an unlimited time. So, uh, you know. All right, chat, get ready. We got green versus orange but before you guess let's look at the people because right now i'm gonna say i think orange is stacked they got xeno and that's all it needs to be stacked but to be fair abel and q were looking really good last the last game q deciding to switch over to a carbon roller instead of their brush from before i'm interested to see what abel can do right here because abel i'm looking at uh at orange's weapon comp they might have a really strong opportunity to just get in and do a lot of damage. But immediately, green taking almost, almost a wipe. Purple Rallet, though. Rocking that end zap. Yeah, does not do anything with it. As they were taken out by uh, the Rapid Blaster Pro, I believe, from Corey. And good stuff right here. Oh, whoa, hold on a minute. Brainmaker being taken out. Purple Rallet now landing next to it. This should go to green. 
This should go to green. Richard somehow living that explosion. And Richard, hanging out a little bit, really wants that point. They do manage to get it for a second. Green has been wiped. Green has been wiped. This is Orange's chance to win. Orange might be able to win right here. And Kitty, with that giant gold dynamo roller, going to do so much damage to, to, the, to the bubble there. This is their chance. They might do it right here. They might do it right here. Richard's going up. No. Q comes down, though. That, sw that weapon switch definitely paying off at the last second there. But here comes Corey. Corey's going to do a lot of damage with that Rapid Blaster. Going to be able to just sit at a distance and just keep firing at the Rainmaker. Going to be just going to be able to prevent Green from doing anything with it like, like he's doing it right now. Corey's just going wild, man. Corey's going wild. And Green can't do much about it. Green with only one person alive right now. Orange needs to get out there and take get, get that Rainmaker. Right now, Portable Rally doing whatever they can to defend it, though. Abel and Q trying to get control over it. Just trying to get any points on the board. And oh no, here it comes. Potential, potential. Nope. Yeah, it does get taken out by Richard. Richard waiting in the wing there with that carbon roller. It's gonna be, oh, actually the, the normal splat roller, excuse me. It's gonna be having a, no! That's not a normal splat roller at all. That's the Kragon splat roller. He's gonna be able to place beacons with that, which are gonna be very useful in a rushdown style map like this. Even though it is a close range map, having those beacons can always be useful. All right, and here comes Meow now with the Rainmaker, although they're getting peppered by bombs and damage everywhere. And dude, Green cannot get it out of their spawn. Green cannot get it out of their spawn. Right now, Abel, the only one on Green left alive is going to go down to Orange. Oh, oh no! I was about to say, it looks like that, like the Rainmaker is about to go to Green, but no! Orange jumping into it there with all those bombs. Gonna hold it for a second, making it so Green really just can't move it. They will have a chance right now, though. Meow going to go around a little bit. But right now, the blaster play coming out from Orange is just so good. Two blasters and two rollers apparently is just too much for Green to handle. And right now, oh, big kerfuffle over the point. Everyone's behind everyone. Oh my gosh, I zoomed out by accident. And right now, everyone on Green is dead but one. Will they be able to do it? No, I don't think they'll have enough of, enough of a shot right here. Corey with the Rainmaker. He's going to have a shot at trying to get to the point, but he probably won't have enough chance. No, Abel takes him out. Oh my god! Now that's a true kerfuffle. That is a true kerfuffle. Everyone dying everywhere in a big old skirmish. Now it is in green control. No! Not even! Instantly after being pick and picked up, it is they're just dead to the to the amazing rapid ba blaster pro, pro play by Co by Corey. Excuse me. John Chris is making one of the gashes, apparently. Corey doing an amazing job just trying to poke at the Rainmaker. Making it so Green can't do anything, although they will get barraged by Q's play right there. Q, uh, Q trying to go in, trying to flank the laser from the side. Not going to be able to get the kill, though. Zeno. Oh, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, Rainmaker almost being scored on him. Right now, though, it's still looking very dominant for, for, for Green. They can't even get it out of the spawn. And frankly, I think that's part and due to Richard being able to completely just keep on placing those points. Although, they are on the board. They are on the board. I repeat, they are actually on the board. And right now, Kitty going down to Abel. This is their chance, man. With 30 seconds left in the game, this is their chance. That's the thing with Rainmaker. This could be over for, for, for Orange in about a second here. With just a, a couple correct pushes from Green. Although, Abel trying to get in. Trying to stop that Rainmaker is not going to be able to. Richard, he might go all the way, but no. Q stops him just in time. But will they be able to score? This still might just be Orange's game. This still might just be easily Orange's game. They do have the point. They lost the Rainmaker. This is bad. No. They will not be able to make it back. Wow. Orange with that dominating victory in that game. What a great game. though. That was, that was, that was fun to watch. That was very fun to watch. And also, I will admit, solid defense from Green to be able to, like, stop the KO that many times. So many kills from so many people. Q and Abel going wild while Zeno and Corey went wild on the other team. That was insane, man. Three for three? Coming from a few people? That's pretty insane. But we're going to get some new people in here. Thank you very much for the people who played. I'd appreciate if the people who, who, who just played did not try to join previous games or future games. Only for the stream. 
feel free to join other other games in future streams but for this stream i you know just to get as many people in as we possibly can i'd appreciate if you guys didn't join thank you very much now we are a little bit low on time and i won't add every single person on this friend list because it is going to take a little bit to add people so i will add people for the next two minutes though my apologize my, my apologies to anyone who was not able to get in but do not worry we will be doing many of these more in the future we will be doing many of these more in the future let's add like 10 more people that should be fine that should be fine chat how you doing Say your record. Say say your score right now. Don't spam it. Just say it once. <clears throat> Just say it once. <coughs> I'm interested to see uh, what what people's score is so far here. Why are you not playing? I'm just commentating. <clears throat> it's time to jump up super high. Unfortunately, guys, I don't choose who plays. By the way, so it, it's just sort of like a slug fest. It's an a mash fest. To see who can actually get in the game first. My apologies. But again, to the people who were just in the previous game, do not join any previous game, any future games. Uh, just this stream. In future streams, you're more than welcome to join me again. But just for the stream, no people. No, no more repetitive people, please. You've had your time. I want to have. Uh, I want to let other people have theirs. All right. Let's add three more. Three more. My team sucks. That's a good name. Here we go. Three. Two. Last person. This is next person is gonna be the last person. It was Kylie. All right, we're backing out. We're backing out. We're backing out. Let's do. I'm sorry if you were not added. My apologies. But uh, good luck in future games. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Bam. Uh, not bam there. Bam. Lobby. I'm pulling my switch for this. I'm sorry, Dad Police. My apologies. We will have future games to do this. We will have future games to do this. Alright, boys. I'm creating a room. The password, though. This isn't a clean A-mash. This isn't a clean A-mash. The password. Four. Three. Five. Two. Four. Three. Five. Two. Three, two, one, go. Again, I apologize, people, if you weren't able to get in. Don't worry. We will have many future ones of these. We will have many future ones of these. Plus, this isn't the last one. I'm going to be adding people after this. Like, after this game, we are going to have two games. Let me, let me repeat. We're going to have two games. Then we're going to add more people from my friends list. Then we're going to have another two games, and then we'll be done. So you have another chance. You have another chance. All right. Any repeats? Any repeats? No repeats. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. So we have Neko, Merrick, Panda, Jacob, Nate, Andrew, P Pones, uh, Light Pup, Je Jedi Wumi, and Stevie. Congrats to the people who didn't get in. If you weren't able to get in, no worries. You have one more chance. All right. So let's do this real. Let's do this real. We got Splat Zones on. Where is it? Black Belly Skate Park. Let's go for it. Woo! Jedi Wumi. It's pretty good. All right. So, Phil Fleet, Stevie, we're spectating. Let's go. Phil, but what's your friend code? It is in the description. Did you just say congrats to the people that didn't get in? <laughs> I did not. Congrats to the people that did get in. Or maybe I, I might have slipped. Congrats to the people that got in. No worries. You will be able to get in in future games. Let's go. Failboat, you say no repeat, you hypocrite. Failboat exposed. Because <laughs> I repeated. You are correct. Except for me. Except for me. Alright, boys. Let's go. Talos is Dan. Tell you gotta break up your messages less. All right. Also, vote now. Who do you guys want to win? Yellow or purple? You're not doing me making. No, I'm doing um Pokemon Black Two Nuzlocke because I want to get that game finished before the next Pokemon game comes out. <laughs> In the meantime, though, who do we have here? A brand new cast of people. In a brand new area. Light Pup, 
Panda, etc. I'm not gonna read everyone right off the bat here. But right now, it actually looks like a, like a pretty even game. Although, Purple does have almost all their people alive right now. And Nate doing a good job with that brush, man. I actually love watching the Ink Brush go. Ink Brush is a very solid tool in the hands of the right, of, a, of the right user. And it looks like we have a, is that a Golden Diamond Dynamo? Man, I, I'm loving it. I love the Golden Dynamo. I wish I saw more of them. I wish, I wish they were better, frankly. But right now, it looks like Purple will have control over this point in about a second here. Ooh, amazing job from Neko and, um, and Light Pop, though. Just contesting the point. Not letting Purple get what they want, though. Very strong play, although it doesn't look too great for Jedi Wumi as uh, he is the only one left alive on their team. So now, they are regrouping very nicely. And Merrick just trying to push in a little bit there. And Panda, you know, trying to put on a little bit of defense, too. So Panda actually rocking. If I'm not mistaken, the 96 gal. That weapon is dangerous, man. That weapon will two-hit kill, if I'm not mistaken. Two-hit kill. Very strong shooter. Also going to be using the baller and the echo locator uh, sub. So it's going to be very... Like, just with that. With one small look, they were able to take that trait and poor Jacob not having any ink there. Um, but also, very good job from, from uh, Orange. Taking back control of the points for even a little bit. Forcing purple into a situation where now they have to make up 29 seconds in order to actually get a uh, get their timer going back down again but for now very strong play from orange seeing if they can get get control of the point here right now light pop trying the best they can to just shoot up the people who have the higher ground gonna be getting up there but no nate is gonna be able to just paint right over them man that ink brush is so good at hitting people at a wide range and right now here they go nate going right back up just rinse and repeat man just rinse and repeat keep claiming territory over and over again but now uh purple has removed their extra bonus timer so it, it just comes down to uh how long before they will uh have another bonus timer again and how long will it be or will they ever have one again because right now orange has almost been completely team wiped that's not too good that's not too good and now they have been completely team wiped for the most part so the other issue with the 96 gal or not the other issue the, the biggest issue with the 96 gal is it can't paint. It can't paint. It's only good at killing. And wow, if I may just quickly say, Merrick just completely came in from behind and swept up the people who were trying to kill. Who were trying to contest the point. They were like, oh, I see what you're trying to go for here. You're trying to contest the point. No! Crushed. Actually crushed. Very strong points. Very strong plays from them. Very strong plays from them. Good job, Merrick. With the MVP kills this round of 13. Looking very, very strong in that first game. Alright, boys. One more game. Because we're only doing two. We're only doing two people. We're only doing two people. Post in chat what uh what 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 you guessed. So now, what are we gonna do? Let's do tur let's do uh tower control on a random map. I'm not gonna be biased. No bias, no bias. Tower control random map. Let's go. Oh, we're also going to have Jedi Wumi sitting out. Bam. All right, boys. Here we go. We got Merrick, Andrew Pones, Light Pup, and Stevie on one team versus Neko, Panda, Jacob, and Nate. I like that in team. It's all made up of, like, actual names, I think. I kind of want Merrick, Stevie, Jacob, and Nate on one team. <laughs> team actual name. It's so good. It's so good. All right. Because I don't think anyone's mom named them Jedi Wumi when they came out. Like, that, that'd be a weird name to name your son or daughter. <laughs> All right, boys. <laughs> oh, I like the Marie plush uh, drawing there. That's so cute. Tower control on my favorite tower control map. Let's go, boys. We got blue versus green. Vote in chat on which one you think will win. Ooh, and we got the first flat brella of the day coming out from green team here. Coming out from Neko specifically. Now, we also have a tri slosher coming out from blue. Gonna be doing some good work. Oh my gosh, or maybe not. Dying to that bomb immediately. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Coming down from the top there. Merrick with the super slam. Trying to get whatever kills they can, but not gonna get too much. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <gasps> Green left the point. Stevie, the actual madman. Did you see Stevie just like, don't you dare look. Don't you dare look at me. No one sees me, right? No one sees me. Got that sneaky jump on the point. And Jacob just trying to stay on the point, stay alive as much as they can here. Uh, but they are going to be peppered 
by our brush user up there, if I'm not... No, not that by the brush user, the, uh, this, the, um... Bra, our, uh, roller user up there, Merrick. Merrick just firing shots down. So, one of the best things about the, uh, the crack on roller is not only does it have a really good sub in the way of the, um, of the beacons that can just let your team rally to you and just really rally a point, but it also has really strong kill power and inking power. It's a weapon that can one to two hit kill from close range and paint very well. Plus with that special of the, um, of the baller, they're gonna be able to survive for a good long while. But meanwhile, meanwhile, they were able to make a very strong push, but green is not letting them have an even game here. Green coming right back into it and riding that point very effectively. Ooh, I, I like Nico's idea though with the, with the uh with the brush or not with the brush with the uh with the brella. Very strong idea. <laughs> Nate jumping in there on, onto the point. Not a, not gonna be able to get any kills though, unfortunately. And just uh, here we go again. Here we go again. Merrick just sitting up top, not letting Green get what they want. Saying like, all right, you want to get through? Uh, you want to get to our point? You gotta go through me first. But first, you gotta go through my baller. Coming in like a wrecking ball. Merrick falling from the skies. Hammering down. Exploding. And doing a one-man team wipe. Whew. Merrick more like a Derek because he's eliminating everybody. Goodness me. Kills Jacob. Goes for another ball. Does not get a kill but comes in from the side and flanks everybody. Derek Merrick is going wild. Gets a double. Oh, he gets another one. Merrick is going crazy! Merrick is carrying this team like wild, man! Not to say the other people aren't doing that good, but just saying that Merrick is just diving on people! Merrick won that game so well! Oh my gosh! Good job to Blue Team for that clean sweep! Oh my goodness! I am sorry I wasn't looking at the other people, but Merrick was just such a show for a second there! Amazing job from Merrick with those 16 kills and the follow-up from Andrew Pones and Neko with the next two highest kills. Oh my gosh, what a game, what a game. Whew. Still three. Some people got all the games so far, but my gosh, congratulations. Congratulations to Blue. So, my apologies guys, but we are going to be getting in a new round of people. Please do not join if you've already been in a previous game. That's all I'm asking. Let's get in some new people. Uh, let me just also add some people real fast here, too. Not gonna add too many people, because again, we're low on time. But, <clears throat> I can at least add, oh my gosh, another 15 people added to the friend list. You guys are, you guys are adding so many, so many friends to my list. We're gonna add another, like, 15 or so. We're gonna add another, like, 15. Again, I, I apologize if you were not able to get in th this group either. I'm not gonna be friending any specific people. I'm not gonna be playing favorites. I'm just gonna do the first 15 or so. It would be biased of me to pick certain people over other people. I'm not, I'm not about to start doing that. If you, if you can't get in today, no worries. I'll add all, all pretty much all of these people, every, everyone that sent friend requests, I will add you in between streams. So if you weren't able to get in this stream, I will add you to the next stream. You'll, you'll, you'll already be a friend for the next stream. And if you're, and by the way, if you're asking for my friend code right now, I apologize, but you're probably not going to be able to get into the, to the group. Phil, but why are you short on time? Because I'm trying to keep this to about 10 minutes. I'm trying to hack my mom's card to give Phil but $10. I know the numbers, but I don't know the order they go in. Yo, but don't though. Yo, but don't though. I don't need the $10 that badly. I, I appreciate the thought. I appreciate the thought. But you, no, no reason to do this. There's no reason to do this. Anyway. Um, but yeah, let's add as many people as we can. Feelboat, this is my first of your streams, and I'm liking it. Really? I thought... No. I thought I've seen you before. Pink Poplio. Maybe you were on my Discord. I remember you from somewhere. Probably from the Discord. What? That was strange. An error has occurred. On everybody? Nope. Apparently, Jacob is broken. <laughs> my apologies, Jacob. If Let me try you one more time here. Hold on, hold on. Welp. Jacob is broke. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, are you okay? Can we help Jacob? I I think Jacob is straight broken. 
Apologize to Jacob. Apologies to Jacob, yeah. My apologies, Jacob, but, uh, I guess, uh, resend friend request? That was weird. Anyway. Um... So let's add five more people. Five more people. And let's get the let's get the show rolling. Five, four, and three. A mashing, a mashing, a mashing. Two. Last person. Who's it gonna be? Do you hear the a mashing ticks? Zink. 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 That's our last person for now. That's our last person for now. All right. Oh, and that's very fitting because the next person also had an error. Interesting. Okay. We got a bunch of people added. Let's get a new game rolling, man. We got 80 people online. Oh, my gosh. 80 people. All right, boys. Let's do it. Hey, cool. Cali, Cali, uh, draw Cali day, uh, day, draw daily Cali 2 day 100. Congrats, uh, daily Cali. I follow your work. Oh my gosh, Rinamu! What about Team Snack, Crackle, Pop, and R Crispy and Rice Krispies? I don't know, man. That, that, that's a delicious team, I'll tell you that much. Dude, you know what I haven't had in a long time? What were those? Also, thank you very much for the $2 donation. Uh, what were those things? Um, Rice crispy Treats. Oh my gosh, that's what I'm looking forward to this Halloween. Those things are amazing. Private battle, let's go. Creative room. What's the password gonna be? Password is going to be... 2858. Let's go. 2858. Who's the fastest typer in chat? Again, if you've already been in previous games, don't join this game. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You guys have been really respectful so far. I appreciate it. All right. Hey, Meow number five. Get out of here. <laughs> I can be how Meow number five joined and just backed out. Just to prove they can do it. Just to prove they can do it. Hey, we got Warlord in here. I see Warlord. One more slot. And we got Roblox Boy. Okay. Here's our teams. And I see no more repeats. Thank you very much. All right. We got Blaine, Matthew, Warlord, uh, Cuddlefrush, uh, Sea Pug, Waffled15, Lewis, Akio Hero, and Roblox Boy. So, guys, thank you for joining. Uh, I appreciate if you guys were able to join. I am sorry if you guys couldn't join. We might have one more game after this. Probably not, though. Let's get into it. So, let's do... Let's do Turf War. We haven't done a Turf War game yet. We haven't done any Turf War. Let's do a Turf War game. Let's see what we got. So, Fail Fleet and, of course, Roblox Boy are going to be on the sidelines. Let's do it. Let's go into it. Snapper Canal. Turf War. Let's go. I'm excited for this, man. Turf War is fun. I, 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 I like Turf War. This is cool. It's just cool. It's a fun time. It's fun times. Fun times. All right. No, it's full. My stream is too, is too slow. I am sorry, Pink Velvet. Your best bet is probably just to keep refreshing in-game. And, uh, and see if you can join like that. Because if you hear me say join game, it's probably too late. Your best bet is, to, is just to mash A and try and get in as, as best you can. Alright, boys. Green, uh, sorry, green. Blue versus orange it, with classic Splatoon colors. Let's see who's gonna take this. So, this is indeed Turf War. There's no longer an objective to follow. Now the, now the objective is the entire game. We can take a look at the map right here. We got Sea Pug in the bottom right, in the bottom right there. Painting spawn as best they can. And Matthew, Matthew, well, what's up? All right, there you go. Matthew was a little bit late to the gate there. But uh, right now, Waffled with that arrow spray. The arrow spray is going to be super effective in this kind of a game mode where their whole goal is just to paint the ground. Of course, the arrow spray did get nerfed a little bit, prize. But it's still a very effective tool for painting the ground. Probably one of the most effective tools in the entire game for doing just that. And right now, it looks like they're able to do quite a bit of it. As we do see, though, Orange is taking a good bit of control over the map. Lewis! Hold well, on, rather, Lewis! Also, just following our arrow spray friend behind, unable to... Uh, preventing them from painting anything. You can see, 
everything that the arrow spray painted, it did nothing. It did nothing. It was all overlapped immediately. And right now we see maybe a little bit of potential action from Blaine and um, and Akio Hero though, as they're very close together. But no, Akio Hero going to the middle of the game here. Gonna be getting a splat on Warlord. Gonna be trying to dodge Lewis, but unable to. Lewis also in a tough situation of their own as they're taking out by uh, Cuddle Thresh up top. Cuddle Thresh jumping back to safety and it's gonna be able to paint a lot of the ground. Chat, who you got? Who you got? We're coming into the 1 minute 30 second mark. Anything could be happening here. Anything could be happening here. Warlord going to be taking out someone in the bottom there. And now they are just going to be covering as much ground as possible. They got the Dapple Duelies, man. Dapple Duelies are scary. Because they can come from anywhere. They're super strong. They shred. And because of those uh, beacons, they're going to just be able to appear at any in any given location. Warlord, ignore... Okay, never mind. He does not ignore uh, Captain Cuddlefresh. Um... But, uh, but they do pay attention to it at the last second there. Warlord also going to be using that special to paint a lot of ground. Um, something that, like, the, the Dapple Duelies don't really specialize in. But, uh, things that special they can do. But right now, this entire map is looking very orange. Although, all it takes is a couple kills from Blue to really do it. And right now, we have a little bit of a skirmish coming out down here. Akio Hero going to be the one who takes it away, though. Although, going right back into it, cut away too soon. It's them versus Blaine, and Blaine is able to take to get that kill. Right now, that means it is going to be in Orange's favor. Waffle jumping in, and Matthew going to be diving into the middle here. Going to be trying to cover as many people as possible. Warlord also just trying to get as many picks as possible. Lewis getting in there, too. Right now, it's looking pretty good for Blue. Or for, for Orange, although... Oh, yeah, I know. It's looking very good for Orange. Blue is Blue got wiped. Blue got completely wiped. If you guys have Blue right now, it's not looking too pretty. This game... Is going to orange. Unless some crazy stuff in the Splatoon happens, and it's like, yep, nope. <laughs> yeah, I know. Is decisively going to orange. Good stuff. Good stuff from both teams. GG's in chat. GG's in chat. Wow, Warlord with 12 kills? Oh my gosh, the Dapple Duelies. They kind of tear. They kind of tear through people. All right, boys, we got one more game here. We got one more game. Let's do Splat Zones. Excuse me. Let me get me a little bit gaseous. No, let's do something else on, on Black Belly. Let's do Tower Control on Black Belly. We haven't seen that one yet. We haven't seen that one yet. And we are going to be having Akio Hero going to Spectator because they were the second to last to join. All right. Here we go. Phil will play with the team next game. Nah, this is my... This is my Account that I have like nothing on. Who are we gonna see? We have Captain Cuddlefresh. I can't help but say Captain. We have Sea Pug, Waffled 15, Lewis versus Blaine, Matthew, Warlord, and Chill. Warlord, an absolute dominant force in that last game. Able to clean up a lot of the enemy. Let's see if they're able to clean up a lot of enemy once it's actually down to competitive play, though. That's the big difference, man. That's the big difference between uh a random game of uh, of turf war versus an actual competitive game. There's a lot of different factors. I love the little waving, wacky arm waving squids in the background there. Call it in chat, boys. Who we got? Who is your team? We got yellow versus blue. Going into it though, going right into it. So interestingly enough, from yellow, we're seeing two. Count them two. Um, dually squelchers. Gonna be doing a lot of rolling, although they did get pinned up against the wall. As now it is Blaine with still rocking, still rocking that crack on splatter, uh, splatter roller, splat roller. It's gonna be very useful. Personally, I think that's gonna be maybe one of the deciding factors in this game. Blaine was playing remarkably before, and so if we have a situation of is this no, Blaine and Warlord are on the same team, that's gonna be very, very rough for uh, yellow, but that's the matchmaking. Dude, Blue Warlord immediately picking up a couple kills right off the bat. <laughs> Warlord styling. Warlord doing a little bit of spin taunting right here, trying to trying to lure over the yellow team before he tears them up a little bit. And wow, wow, seconds. Actual seconds into that game. And it is already over. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. My goodness! The absolute sweep from blue! Seapog only able to net the one kill from yellow. 
but I will give them one more game. I will give them one more bonus game. Because goodness, those were some fast games. Let's do Rainmaker on Manta Maria. I want to be fair. I want to be fair. Those were some fast games. I'm going to give them one more game. I'm going to give them one more game. Looking good. That was a fast game. You got to give them that. You got to give them that. One more bonus game. Moom five more hours. Here we go, boys. Vote in chat. In a second. In a, in a, in a second. <clears throat> the team I want to win is the Black 2 Nuzlocke. That's right, man. We got a Nuzlocke coming up after a second here. In a second here. All right, boys. Going into it. Who we got in chat? Call it out in chat. Who we got in game? Call it out in chat. We got blue versus green. Blaine and Warlord have been split up. And uh, I'm interested to see how this game how this game goes. So, both teams choosing to take the high ground approach to this. Uh, of course, we are dealing with Rainmaker. So this could be over just as fast. And right now, it looks like Blaine was able to triumph over Warlord for a second there. Oh my gosh! Blue has been wiped! Blue has been completely wiped! This is Green's chance to just go with it. To just run. To get so much points right now. And Seapaw going to be doing just that right now. Although Blue going to be trying to intercept immediately. This is a good interception point for Blue. Although all of Green is right there. Blaine with the young triple. And right now it's a 1v1. Blaine and one of the Blue members are the only people alive. Blaine has free access to that point. It could be over just as fast, but no. Blue diving in there saying we are gonna let you have it just like that we are not gonna let you have it like just like that that's way too early for this game no way in heck and right now blue with control of the point they are gonna be taking it up top let's see what green does to contest we see a couple super jumps coming right in here there is gonna be some contesting right immediately incoming missiles also they gotta keep moving warlord gonna be trying to do something with the rainmaker not going to be able to do too much, but it doesn't look like he's he's being contested too much. This is their chance to put on some real damage to the boards here. They have their chance. It's within their sight, but he gets too hungry. Blaine coming in from behind if I could scroll over to them before they die and then they died. Well, you know. Ooh, dude, amazing job from Waffled, Nick, and the Tenta Missiles. Keeping that point under wraps. But here it comes. All of a sudden, it's Blue's chance. No! Blue gets taken out by Blaine at the last second. Amazing play by Blaine, not letting Blue get the lead. And all of a sudden, man, after that really close push from Blue, it's Green's chance. It's Green's opportunity to get back in there and just get the point away from their aim, from their angle. Uncontested path! Uncontested path! Poor painting coming out from Blue's side, giving Green just a free... There's a free, like, highway to just run and just get so much distance. And that's the issue when you don't paint the ground and you get so obsessed with, with directing the objective. You're like, well, we're focused on the objective. We don't really care about the ground right now. That's the issue, man. If the other team gets a chance, they will use that. They will use that. Just as we saw right there. And right now, Captain Cuttlefresh and the rest of Blue taking the same path right now. That may be a dangerous opportunity as... The, the Rainmaker is taken out. Right now, Seapug going in there. Going to be trying to net some kills. There was a trade that just happened. A suicide bomb of a trade. And right now, it's Seapug's chance just to hold the point for a second. Just to hold the Rainmaker. Prevent it to, from going to Blue's hands and, you know, control their lead. Right now, Cut Captain Cut Cuttlefresh going to be taken out, though. As Blaine gets their opportunity. Going to get a double kill. Looking very good. The Rainmaker is going to be in their control in a second. They want to go for that knockout blow, man. They want to go for that knockout blow. 11 to 26 is still oddly too close in a game like this. This is a very close game. That was a very good shot, too. Blaine looking very strong with the Rainmaker. I gotta admit, letting their teammate jump back in, this is their opportunity. This is their opportunity. Odyssey has trapped me. Send help. Well, speaking of sending help, I think Blaine needs a little bit of help right now. No. Their amazing teamwork from the right. Oh my god! Forget what I was just saying. That splashdown shut me up, man. That splashdown shut me up. Amazing splashdown. Gonna be clearing out green for a second there. This is Blue's opportunity. Warlord sending in tons of bombs there, just deploying the suction bombs. 
trying to keep out green as best they can. This is the opportunity right here. Oh no! The double flank from Blaine in the tent attack, er, in the uh, squelcher. Um, and from the squelcher, that would be nice Paul. Nick Paul, rather. Nick Paul 19. Amazing pincer play. Oh, that's very close. That is a very close Rainmaker. Everyone's fighting for it, man. That is going to be Captain Cuddlefresh taken out by it. This is looking real dangerous. This is looking real dangerous for Green. This is Blue's opportunity. Only one person alive on the team, and they are not anywhere close to it. Kind of close to it, but they are going to be taken out immediately. This is Green's opportunity to get right back in there. No! Rainmaker has been reset! Interestingly enough, everyone dashing to the middle of the point right there. Nick Paul trying to put on as much damage as he can, but are going to be taken out by the Rainmaker explosion. Here we go, boys. This is Blue's last chance. And right now, they have a clean shot. They could do it. Blaine coming in from behind, though, saving the game. Wow. What a game through and through. GG's in chat. I expect to see a lot of GG's in chat over that. Wow. What a great game to finish off our, for, to finish off our Splatoon segment here. Amazing job from all players, and good job to Green. We're playing with 21 kills and Captain Cuddle Fresh with 18. Amazing play from everybody. Amazing play from everybody. All right. No, I will not delete friends, by the way. You guys are going to stay on here. Unless I, I fill up my friends list, in which case I'll start deleting the first people I added, hopefully. Or, or, some, or something like that. Oh, gosh. Sea pug. That face. That face. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Wow, that face makes me a little bit gaseous, frankly. All right, boys. That's it for the Splatoon segment. Thank you all for watching. If you're watching this live, don't go anywhere. We're going to be back with Pokemon in about five minutes. Again, do not go anywhere. Whenever I'm like, all right, we're going to go back. You know, we're going to stop streaming for a second. And then we'll be back in a second. I stop streaming and I look at chat. And the chat's just like, panic. He's gone. I just got here. No. It's like, don't worry. <laughs> Calm down. It'll be back in a little bit. It'll be back in a little bit. Thank you all for watching the Splatoon segment. And I will see you around. If you're, again, if you're watching this live, don't go anywhere. Woo! We'll be back with In the Meantime in just a second.